Hello, so this is gonna be a weight loss vlog slash watch me shrink video. However, I'm not gonna weigh myself because I told you guys I won't be weighing myself until the end of this month. Just cause it drives me nuts weighing myself every day and then I get crazy when I see a weight gain or like if it's the same and I feel like I should be losing weight because I work out every day. I feel different this week. I feel like I've lost more weight. Um, noticing my clothes are getting more loose, my shorts are pretty much falling down, and I'm not going to be shopping anytime soon, so I'm just going to keep wearing the clothes I have now and just deal with it. Um, my knee is hurting again from running every single day. Um, those of you that don't know, I injured my right knee two years ago and it got dislocated and it healed but it never really healed so when I work out a lot or once in a while I'm like walking up the stairs or something high you know my knee hurts and especially in the cold and um, it's never gonna heal I swear like when I get older I'm gonna have some kind of knee surgery of some sort um, I'm wearing my brace again when I work out. Um, I'm going to cut off on the running for a while. I actually started working out in my room. Um, I told you guys I am doing my dancing aerobics workout for an hour. Um, when I first started um, working out back in high school, um, my highest weight was like 160 and I lost to 130, 120 for prom and um, that's what I did one hour every day after school I would dance for one hour to hip hop, any kind of dance music and I did today, I actually enjoyed um, even though I'm just so full of emotions about my personal life um, it helped a bit just for that one hour, I felt kind of happy because I used to have so much fun with all my friends and going out and dancing and stuff. And here I am alone and miserable, and all I'm doing is working out and going to work. But um, yeah, um, I'm really curious to see how much I weigh. I feel really different. I know I look different. I've been getting comments from everybody, my mom, um, people next door, and my friends who I don't see because they're all in California. Um, and I don't talk very much either, so um, it must be true. <clears throat> I don't know, it's just like, I'm sure everyone goes through this when they're trying to lose weight and in the process and the journey of losing weight. Um, it's psychologically, like I look in the mirror, like I know I've lost a lot of weight and I should be proud of myself and I am extremely proud of myself but I still feel like a fat ass when I look in the mirror. I don't know when or how it's ever going to clear my head. And now I'm thinking like when I get to 120 which is like I'm sure super skinny for me because I haven't been 120 since what high school. and. I'm afraid of looking in the mirror at 120 and thinking that I'm still fat and if I say that it's going to be so bad and not good. Like I shouldn't feel this way. So I'm like I don't know when I'm going to feel good. Like I love myself but I don't love myself. And it sucks that I'm admitting this. I'm like ashamed to admit this. Like, I know I don't love myself that much because, just because, um, and then it's like, I mentioned this before in my past two videos, you find an outfit that you really like and it's really cute and you buy it and it doesn't fit you, that piece of outfit can like ruin your whole mood, like, it makes me so upset, like, I'm never going to fit into that clothes, that dress, that top, that pant. Or sometimes, like, I have to remind myself, hello, Brenda, 
maybe you don't just don't look right in that outfit. It might look good in someone else, but not on you. Because everyone has different body shapes. Like I notice things, but it's like, oh. So like I've been trying to fit into this dress that I bought like a year ago, that black tube top dress, and I mentioned about it tons of times. It fits me now. It fits me well, but I don't know. It's just I regret being fat off and on growing up because when you go too fast and whatever you get stretch marks and it sucks I have to live can't wear tank tops can't wear two tops I always have to cover myself can't really wear anything too short sleeve you know so many outfits I could wear that would be more cuter but you know stretch marks it sucks like I'm over it, but once in a while it gets to me, it's like, err, and I know you can never be perfect, and nothing is perfect, but it would be nice to just have what I want, get what I want, be what I want. But as always, you can't have what you want. You can't always have what you want. Um... So after this, it's my Watch Me Shrink video. It's kind of boring. Um, I think my tummy slimmed down a bit. I've been doing a lot of crunches every day. Just 100 after my running and now since I'm dancing around doing aerobics in my room, I'm doing the crunches as well. <clears throat> I feel like when I'm running, I'm just running and pretty much just working my legs and thighs, you know, not my upper part. Versus when I am dancing, you're moving your whole body, you're shaking, you're working your hips, you're working your ass, your legs, your arms, you know, you're moving all over. And it's more funner than running, than just, you know, running and listening to music. When I'm working on my room, I feel like I'm in a club, it's dancing away, so I forget that I'm working out. And I'm just dancing like I'm at a party or something, you know, so that helps. So this is something different. Um... Um, I hope this helps me lose weight a little bit more faster. Um, I have a wedding that I might go, I might not go, but I'm sure I won't go. But um, we'll see how I feel because, yeah. But um, I don't know what else to say. It's just, I'm so not happy about this whole weight loss thing. Like, I'm not satisfied. Like, I feel like I'm never going to be satisfied. And I'm really afraid that even at 120, I still feel like shit and I don't want to feel that way. And it sucks that I need something else to make me happy when I should just be happy being independent, being by myself, being on my own, not having to worry about anything. But that just doesn't do it. And if only that one thing would just happen. I'll be so happy, but no, it sucks. And I know there are worse things in life, but this is how I feel. I'm so alone, and I kind of, I just wish that I would be in a better place and being fit now and being happy, but I'm not. It sucks. So. Um, Again, thank you for watching my videos. I know some days I'm depressed, some days I'm happy. It's like so bipolar and I don't want to give like a negative impression all the time and just feed off negative energy to you guys who are trying to be positive because who wants to watch a negative person or be around a negative person? But this is my video, this is my page, it's for me. And if you don't want to watch it, it's okay. If you watch it, thank you. Um, I just feel like I need to be honest. I need to be honest with myself. And I know I'm not the only one out here in this world feeling like shit, done stupid things, and just miserable at the moment. And I know I'm not alone. And I want that person out there who's feeling like me say that it's okay to feel like shit and just be all negative all the time. It's okay. And that in time it will be okay and that's something that I need to remind myself I just want to be honest how I feel because this is kind of like my diary like I say numerous of times but um yeah 
please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I just want to lose 20 more pounds. Yeah, okay. I don't know what else to say.